I always wanted to know how to make double exposure videos here in After Effects, so today we're going to check out how to do that. Let's create a new composition, rename it as double exposure, I'm going to go with 1080p, 6 second, black background, click OK. First I'm going to go and drag and drop the background video into the composition, and next I'm going to drag and drop the video with the model. I'm going to press the letter S, scale it down, I'm going to make it fit. Also make sure to rename the layers, model, cityscape. From here we're going to go to the effects and presets and type in Lumetri color. Drag and drop it on the model layer. Here I'm going to open up the basic correction. Let's go and click on the auto. I think this is too much so I'm going to readjust the contrast a little bit and it looks something like this. Now we're going to go to the effects and presets and type in linear color key. Drag and drop the linear color key under the Lumetri color. And here all you need to do is to work with the matching softness. If you increase it, you can see it is going to make some of the areas transparent and some of them not. So in order to make a correct double exposure, you're going to need to eliminate the white colors or the black colors. And if you go here to the key color, you can see it's on blue. Click on it and I'm going to go and change it to white. And if I bring it down to black, it is going to eliminate the dark and black areas. But I'm going to go with white, click OK. And from here, you can adjust the matching softness. I'm going to increase it all the way to 100%. I also can work with the matching tolerance, increase the matching tolerance. It is going to eliminate even more areas and then decrease the matching softness. And this way you can customize it a little bit better. I'm going to go with these values and the video right now looks something like this. I'm also going to go to the Lumetri color, press Ctrl C. And let's go to the Cityscape layer, press Ctrl V. And I'm going to click on Auto again. It is going to adjust the contrast. Now there's a little bit of problem to take in consideration. If I zoom in, you can see these areas don't look that good. I mean, the whole thing is double exposed and we're going to need to smooth some of the areas out. And for that, we're going to need to mask the model. So I'm going to select the layer with the model, press Ctrl D to duplicate. And let's go with the layer with the model 2, the new layer, and select the linear color key, delete it. Also make sure that you're at the beginning of the video. Let's go and select the pen tool, and we're going to need to mask this. I'm going to start from here, and I'm going to go around the model. And at the end, we're going to connect it here. So as you can see, if I zoom in, it masked the inside of the model. Now next we're going to need to animate this masking so it's going to follow the model. So let's open up the layer with the model 2. Let's go to masks and select the mask number 1. Right click, click on track mask. And here we got the tracker. I'm going to go with position and rotation. Now in my situation the model is staying still and she is rotating her head and that's it. So because of that I'm going to go with the settings and from here all you need to do is click on play and wait for the results. So now I just finished and as you can see the mask starts to follow somehow the model's face. Now of course it's not perfect, there are like more advanced methods to do this. Now in order to smoothen out these edges all you need to do is go to the mask 1, open it up and go to mask feather, increase the feathering until it's going to be nice and smooth. Now some of the areas like here, the mask is not following it, but you can manually customize it by going where the issue is. So basically it starts from here at the neck and I'm going to start deleting these keyframes from here and I'm going to work this out manually. So for example, I'm going to go to the fourth second and I'm going to select this anchor point here and just pull it in right here. If it's not working, I'm going to deselect and select the layer again and just try to select one of these anchor points and just pull it in. There you go. There you go. And check this out. It goes something like this. And this is how you make double exposure videos like a pro here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.